hello guys welcome to this video so in this video i will show you how to integrate the monaco code editor to syntax highlight code inside your application and you can allow the user to simply type your code with the syntax highlighting and also autocomplete so it's a mini vs code clone inside vs code you write your code you get the suggestions as well so similarly inside the browser as well you will even get the suggestions right here using the syntax highlighting with various themes so there is this library called as monaco, monaco editor so where you can allow the user to paste code in certain languages all the programming languages and all the themes so in this way we can paste it you also should see these line numbers also appearing so we have this theme as well so if you want to show the value you will see it will show the value everything the user has typed so i will show you this complete example specifically in react chairs and the library is we are using is monaco editor if you know about monaco editor it's a code editor that powers visual studio code that is a software of microsoft so it do offer a library as well specifically for react chairs so it's a browser based code editor and you can install this package by executing this command and it's almost got 798000 weekly downloads so i will show you a very simple example how to get started so just make a simple functional component and now i will import this package at the top i will say import editor from and then it comes from this monaco slash monaco dash editor react it's a 13.9 kilobyte size package and we are simply importing the editor and then we have create a state variable just creating a reference to the editor so that we can attach this reference using use ref hook initial value will be null and uh, after this inside your jsx now to include this editor you simply type first of all we have a button to actually show the value that the user has written inside the code editor we will bind this on click listener so show value so i will just have this nice little function so whenever you click the button we execute this function so after this we show the actual editor where the user will write the code so this is actually the component so we are simply embedding the component and it actually takes some options first is the height of the control you can control it so let's suppose i give uh, height to be 90 view height viewport height and if you just refresh now you will see by default the editor has been loaded so now you see you can write the code and you will not get the autocomplete suggestions because we do need to specify the language so for the detection to take place so here you need to specify the default language so it supports all the languages you can provide python php javascript ruby c++ c all the languages so let me provide javascript language and then it takes the next value is default value you can even provide so let's suppose I write a simple console log statement hello world so we write this now if you see refresh it you will see by default this console log statement will be written and if you hover onto this you will see more information about this variable and if I just now write it you will see the autocomplete suggestions as well so by default it has capabilities now of VS code you can write a function so same goes for PHP as well let's suppose I change this from JavaScript to PHP and now replace it now with instead of console log we say echo hello world and I put the PHP tag as well a semicolon so now this is your PHP code so you can see that it supports all the languages all the programming languages and uh, in this way you can do this and it also takes the second option let me change to JavaScript 
it also takes the fourth option on mount so this option here you can specify a function so when the editor is loaded in the browser what you need to do i just define this custom function handle editor did mount so here you can specify this function so when the editor is loaded you can have this function handle editor did mount and here we will get the editor reference and the monaco as two arguments inside this specifically inside this function so we can attach this reference sorry so we have these two variables editor and monaco So we can attach this reference which is editor ref dot current to be editor. So as you can see we are binding this function handle editor did mount. So now what whichever value that you write let me we can even print out the value as well using this editor ref dot current dot get value. So let's suppose I paste this JavaScript code inside this text editor. You will get this all syntax highlighting this line numbers as well. You can see the default theme which is supported by Monaco editor. If you click the button show value, you will get everything that the user has written inside this text field. So in this way, you can get your source code as well. So in this way, guys, you can add, in, integrate Monaco editor inside your ReactJS application with syntax highlighting and uh, with various themes as well. So this is actually the package I've shown you step by step. It's a very popular package. And if you want to do some kind of syntax highlighting and do some kind of browser code editing activities, you can use this package. And thank you very much for watching this video. And do check out my website as well, uh, freemediatools.com, uh, which contains thousands of tools regarding audio, video and image. And I will be seeing you in the next video.